Hi everyone, it's me, Moonlight Guidance. I hope you are doing well. This is a reading for you. Um, this is a very safe space where you are always very welcome and I'm going to be doing a reading to see what's coming through for you and I feel like if you're here it's a really big sign that there are messages for you if you ever ever wanted to purchase any personal services with me everything is always linked down below and on shop moonlightguidance.com for personal tarot readings with me to answer questions you may have also this personal um, intention rituals as well for love money marriage career healing beauty justice black magic removal protection ritual and so much more and there's also as well intention items there are thousands of five-star reviews at the bottom of my website shopmoonlightguidance.com and there are intention items for various areas of your life and things you can put under your pillow or candles you know anklets bracelets etc there's so many beautiful items check it out if you're interested if not no worries so let's have a look and see what i can bring to you there is definitely movement here in your life um i honestly like when i look at this i just see a real sense here of teamwork, you know, teamwork, mutual energies, mutual communication, consistency, and that's honestly the biggest thing that I'm seeing here is people reaching out to you rather than you always being the one to reach out first. Things like, you know, even group projects, um, or if you have some tasks that you need to complete, you won't be the one always pulling the weight. So especially in regards to work, if there are projects or if you're studying and you have to work with somebody else, or let's say, you know, in your work environment, you have to work with somebody else to get some tasks done or even in your family life, right? Maybe there's events or things that you have to do or things around the home or just tasks in general. If there is someone that has to do it with you, they will also put in the effort. They will they will pull the weight in the situation, right? It's not going to be all up to you. You're not going to be the only one working at it, doing it and completing the task. I do believe here that they will put in effort. Six of Swords shows that you are actually recovering from something rather emotionally um, stressful. I feel like it's the kind of stress that you didn't need in your life, but came into your life. And so the Six of Swords really shows a lot of stress and a lot of very sort of overwhelming feelings and you just feeling really not great. Look at that. I was talking about it and the heavy cards are coming out. So this is how I work as a reader, you can see that when I say something, the cards do also represent that energy. But I feel here that someone was just going above and beyond to misunderstand you and creating misunderstandings or just not seeing eye to eye with your perspective. Even though you never meant ill, you never meant badly. You were never trying to be rude or bad or defensive. You were just trying to explain your point of view across and you were just trying to get yourself across to this person and they just took it in a very different way. Lots of ego, lots of pride, lots of defensiveness from their side, which has been really, really difficult and it has made you overthink a lot. I do feel that you have lost some sleep over this. There have been some, I feel, just emotional frustrations, maybe even tears. Just you thinking to yourself, like, why why are you treating me this way, right? Eight of Cups, this person has created distance. They decided not to really communicate with you properly. They decided not to be proper, basically. And that has created chaos within yourself because you don't fully know if you can trust this person. You don't fully know if this is something that makes you happy because you felt so sad about the entire situation. So let's see what's going on on their side, okay? Got the Page of Wands and the Queen of Wands. I do feel that you are the much more mature person in this situation. I see that. I see that here that you have the ability to understand people's emotions. You have the ability to understand yourself. You have the ability to try and cross that gap um, and to really bridge things together. You have the ability to do that. And even with the Page of Wands, you are always trying. You're always being. You're always doing. You're always trying to make things work and make things happen. And I really see that here with this entire situation is that you are always trying. You're always doing you're always being and this person here is going to communicate with you from what I am seeing I also feel here that there will be an apology because they will want to work on things with you um so this this set of cards here also represents like other areas of your life as well where people can be a lot more sort of like present and working on things with you but there's also this situation here where someone here really hasn't communicated to you they haven't been present towards you for some of you this whole situation will link into one 
but I just feel that this person is going to come to you with an apology. They are going to be really sorry, I believe, for how they treated you, okay? And the Ten of Swords, they will not want to do this again to you because they know how much actually it's hurt you and also it's hurt them as well. So the interesting thing here is that they do have empathy to understand how much it's actually hurt you and they will communicate with you and they will progress towards you and they will feel bad from what I'm seeing, especially with the Ten of Swords. They will feel like, oh my God, what did I do? And why did I do it like that? And so we have that here with the Knight of Cups, this really significantly strong energy here of an apology, emotionally communicating across to you their feelings and thoughts in regards to everything that has happened and feeling rather bad about it, understanding that you have done nothing but just be yourself. You have done nothing but just you know, Nine of Pentacles is a very sort of simple, abundant energy. It's it's very much about the fact that you were just trying to understand the situation, you were trying to be yourself, and in the midst they just got really overwhelmed and overworked, and how is that your how is that, you know, their how is that your problem basically? It's their way of thinking about things, it's their way of doing things. And Nine of Cups, you were just sort of observing the situation, trying to understand the situation, and you were just trying to basically be yourself. And they feel like they created literally chaos in regards to everything that has gone on, and that's not your fault, you know? So that's what they are literally thinking, especially with the Two of Swords. There is this energy here of them thinking on both sides, which is also healthy, but they were a bit all over the place, right? They were a bit all over the place and, you know, that that is something. They were a bit all over the place. Um, we have here the Hermit. The Hermit is quite significant because the Hermit really does represent a very, very strong energy here, which is to do with, um, basically, the Hermit represents a lot of inner thinking, okay? A lot of reflecting that's happening on their side to then make them be much more open towards you. They regret how they treated you. They regret not being open enough. They regret not internally thinking about you as well. They were only mainly thinking about themselves. Now they're thinking both sides. They are feeling sorry. They're feeling bad. They want to open up to you. They want to communicate with you. They want to be proactive towards you. They want to, you know, be there, be fair and be square and they just feel really bad that they have not been able to treat you in the way that you deserve to have been treated. And the Ten of Cups here shows that they do want to come to you and they want to put this sort of burdening energy that they created towards you behind. Behind, okay? So I feel like there's still more that you need to know. So we're going to have a look at message cards and also do a charm reading because I'm just really obsessed with charm readings right now because, you know, it just it just is what it is, okay? <laughs> I just love it. Um, so I did want to mention as well, I do actually offer um, rituals as well, which really work on healing your energy so that your intention can actually take place as rituals for, you know, love and break no contact, manifest a specific person, for them to express their feelings to you, support and consistency, protect your love connection. So, um, and also lots of other areas as well, like black magic removal protection ritual, rituals for healing, etc. So if you're ever interested, you know, there's also intention items as well. Everything is down below, but I just thought I'd mention some of the rituals that can relate to today's reading. Okay, so let's have a look and see what is coming through with these cards. lurking your social media accounts. They're going to be lurking around on your social media accounts. I'm just saying, all right, it's going to be happening. They will be. They'll be trying to figure out what you're doing, what you're up to, because they will miss you, okay? They will miss you and they will not be able to bear the fact that you are spending time with other people, okay? they. I feel like they've sort of awakened to realize like, oh my God, what are you doing? We have here as well, I literally said it. I literally said it. Please like the reading for the synchronicity that is, I did say here that they, it, They'll be looking at social media because they'll be missing you, right? They'll miss you. Literally, right there. Right there. Right, right, fair, square. There it is, okay? Like, they will be missing you. They will feel so drawn to you. They will feel so connected to you. I mean, there it is, right? There it is. So this is what I am picking up on here. They will be missing you and they will come to you. They will communicate with you. They will text you soon, call you soon. Okay, let's have a look at the charm. Ooh, little handful they're all metal as well that's the interesting thing so we've got here 
an airplane. This is about bridging distances, bridging gaps. This is about traveling. Traveling eventually to come and see you is something that they will want to do. We also have a spanner as well. This is about fixing the situation. They threw a spanner into the works, but now they want to fix things. They want to allow things to come together. They want, basically they want commitment to also happen here as well. Okay. Commitment. There's a key here. They want to work on things. They want to make things happen. They do have love for you. They have understanding towards you and how you do things. They don't want to continuously sort of like run away and create problems. And they feel like, you know, you are this very special sort of angel in their life and they want to work on things. And also overall, you know, people will really want to work on things with you. And that's what I see here. There's a real sense of teamwork, collaboration, um, people really being very, very genuine towards you sort of over the next three months, wanting to work on things, less work drama, less relationship drama. I said less, which means less, um, and more just peace, more overall happiness, more you know, people wanting to work on things with you and appreciating your energy for who you are and not running away from who you are. There's there's a lot more sort of like understanding and respect that I'm picking up on overall in this situation where people that have ignored you are much more present, much more understanding, much more caring, much more there towards you. And that's something that I am picking up on here from what I am seeing. So this is, yeah, this is pretty much your reading. I really hope that this helps you and gives you a lot of clarity and information. Obviously, you know, don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Um, if this, you know, resonates, don't forget to check out description box below for information on personal services, readings, items. I also have TikTok and Instagram as well. If anyone wants to follow me on there, it is Instagram is moonlight.guidance, TikTok is moonlight.guidance, and I'll see you all very soon. All right, take care, everyone.